Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, so today I want to show you how to add and delete rows from a repeater inside the Axure 10. Actually, you can do this with whatever version of Axure you have. So if you have the 9 or 8, whatever version you have, that's fine. You can do it. So no problem at all. And so if you're interested, as usual, subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like or comment. And that's it. Let's get started. Here we are inside Axure, yes it is. What we can see here on the screen, it's just an advanced table that I created uh, some time ago that if you want, you can find uh, the version for Axure 9 on my marketplace. Let's start to see how is uh, structured actually the page. As you can see, we have the table, yes. Uh, this table is created with a footer. We have a, a header and we have the repeater itself so that that creates actually the table one thing to highlight that is really important is these two elements of x and the total item count i want to show you also how it works to basically update this kind of items inside the table because when you work with data tables actually it's really important sometimes when you have to prototype to show also these behaviors, right? So let's see uh, the first one. So this actually is the number of pages. To know basically the, the, um, the number of pages that we have based on the items that we have in the data set of the table, it's quite simple. So uh, unloaded, you see, I set the text of this widget. So let's go in the effects to see how it's structured. So what we see here, I created a local variable that I can also rename it like uh, pagination. Okay, pagination. And as you can see, Axure is going to uh, update uh, automatically the local variable. So the pagination is equal to the widget table, right? And it's actually the repeater, this table. And what I'm going to put there is what so i insert a variable or function and under the repeater section as you can see we have page count this is a javascript method that actually we can use to count the number of pages that we have is just to uh, use the uh, local variable created dot page count it will return us basically the, the number of pages of the table is the same thing for the total item count, right? So on loaded, as you can see, I set the text of this widget that is actually a simple text widget. How? So if I go in the FX again, as you can see, we have uh, uh, something that is outside of the square brackets. That is something that is repeated every time. And what is inside basically the brackets is dynamic based again on the number of rows this time. And we're going to use basically item count. And again, we have a local variable that is the widget table. So I called this, uh, this local variable table, but you can call it whatever, right? Whatever, you can even uh, leave it like LVAR1, right? The default one. And what we have to use actually is item count. Item count, it will count the number of rows that you, we have inside the data set of the repeater. This is really important and you will see now why. So if we go inside the repeater, as you can see here, we have this icon that is the trash bin. And on the delete icon, what I have to do is quite simple. So uh, add a new interaction on click. What I have to do is going to uh, the repeater section and select delete rows. We select the table. This is the only one that we have in the page. And row this. It means that I'm going to delete the row on which I'm clicking. Let's click OK and let's go in preview. So 
as you can see here, uh, so now if I, for example, I click on the first, delete it, 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 you see? So I'm deleting each row on which I click, right? But as you can see, the total items uh, is correct because at the beginning were uh, 14 and the pages were two. But actually now we have much less items. So we have to update this number uh, each time that we click. How to do that? Quite simple. Let's go back in action. And what I have to do is to fire the load event of each one of those items. So I uh, add a new action. I say on the other action, fire event. I have to select then our off X element, that is the pagination, and I, I add the event loaded. Okay. And then I add a new target that is Let's see how I called it. Total number, yes. Add event loaded, right? So now I'm saying to Axure, every time that I click, you have to fire the loaded event of that items. And so let's go in the preview. Now, if I delete the rows, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You see, when I arrive to 10, okay, Actually, the number of pages change, changed and also the total number of items is changing every time they, that I click. Simple now? Now let's go to see how to add an item to our table. Actually, as you can see, we have four uh, different input fields, each one that is related to the columns that we have. So one is for the country, one for the number, date and value. We're going so to select the add to list. And again, what we have to do is uh, on click or tap, we have this time to add rows, add rows to our table, the only one that we have, and we add a new row. So what we have to do is to click on the FX, we create a local variable that we call, for example, country. That is the text on widget. And I'm going to select the, the input fields that correspond to the country. That's quite simple and logic, right? So, and I select input country. And then I select the local variable that I just created, country. So I'm going to put basically what is inside this uh, input field inside the table, actually inside that specific columns and cell, right? Okay, we do the same for everything, right? So we create a local variable for number, we text on widget input number, and we add the local variable inside. We do the same for the date, add local variable, I call it date, text on widget, item date, input date, insert date, okay? We do the same for the value, value, text on widget, voila, input value, insert variable function, value. And actually that's it, right? So in this way, I'm adding the row. But let's do the same thing that we did before when deleting the items. So now we have to load, the f to fire the event of loading again the items because otherwise the total, the total item count and the page numbers will not update. So let's do it again, fire event. I select, first of all, the total number. For example, add new event loaded, okay. After that, we add a new target and we select of X, that is actually the number of the pages. We select the event that is loaded and we click OK. And so let's go in preview to see how it looks like. Here we are. So actually, uh, now I can uh, add a new country, for example, I don't know, uh, Luxembourg. Luxembourg, number, whatever, date, whatever, a value, whatever, and I can add it to the list. 
as you can see, we, we don't see it on screen because it's in the second page and we are going to see it soon. But if I add, add, add and arrive to 21, okay, you see that not only the item uh, counts is updated, but also the number of pages because we have 10 rows per page. And let's go to see all the uh, items that we created, right? So uh, we can go on the last page and we can create a new one, a new one, a new one, a new one. We can clear all and put whatever uh, numbers, date, value and add it to the list. You see how simple it is. Also, this video is finished. I hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new from me. As usual, what I ask you is to subscribe to the channel, activate the bell, put a like, a comment, and see you in the next video. Bye.